Nuggets going up against the Indiana Pacers. With our analysts Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Zuniga. We're ready to check out a I am so curious of how much of a team player they are. That is something we only find out during games. It's a must for spacing. It's not just that, Brian. It's almost become a math equation, thanks really to the Houston Rockets. Left side, Murray. And stolen by Che. To the middle. Halliburton. Murray covering. Back to Che. And Che throws it. Inside. Che. And Che throws it down. Inflicting some punishment. Che inside. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And that one. Five on the clock. Shea with the block. And he gets it back. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Now here's Halliburton. Tight defense on him. Shea up top. And it's good off the back of the rim. And it enabled him to be the first guy to it and get the put back. I like to see that hustle. You're now tuned in to Old Head TV. Put some pressure on that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn those notifications on. Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube world? It's Old Head TV, and I'm back in the building. Back in the builder, and I'm back with another banger for my 2K family. And today, I have an absolute lockdown defender build. A tenacious and hardworking defender, to say the least, who uses his size and solid jumper to bring a nice inside-outside game that can post up opponents and hit the mid-range jumper also to open three i made this build in the image of new york city's finest nba champion and defensive player of the year ron artest aka metal world peace one of my favorite defenders that once graced the basketball courts and i feel like he doesn't get mentioned enough and i always wanted to create a ron artest type build and i finally got around to doing it so without further delay let's get into the build all right for your position we're gonna go with small four it. shooting hand right left doesn't matter jersey number does matter because we're making a ron artest type build so i think i'm gonna go with number 23 this is the same number ron artest wore when he won defensive player of the year and he was an mvp talks also all right now for the body settings the height we're gonna go with six foot seven weight we're gonna put that to 244 pounds wingspan we're gonna take it to seven foot four and the body shape we're gonna go with is compact now let's get into the attributes now ron artest wasn't much of a high flyer but he most def could finish above the rim and he was good for the easy layup so for your close shot we're gonna take that to a 70 driving layup we're gonna take that to a 80 driving dunk we're gonna bring that to a 80 also and that right there should have us at 13 finishing badge points now I didn't do too much with the finishing because Ron Artest wasn't known for being a high flyer he was known for his defense but we do get enough to finish at the cup with Silver Fearless Finisher, Slithery, and Limitless Takeoff for those fast breaks. Now, let's get into the shooting. All right, for your mid-range shot, we're going to take that to a 79. And your three-point shot, we're going to take that to a 79 also. And that right there should have you at 19 shooting badge points. And for your free throw shot, you're going to take that to a 72. All you really need is a 70, 72 to green consistently. I've seen people do it with less. And the best free throw shot for a low free throw rating, in my humble opinion, is Carmelo Anthony. It's very smooth, easy to time, and you can see the cue. And if you aren't fond of shooting in the 70s, you can lower the mid-range and push the three-point rating to a 83, but it will change the build name to a 3 and D wing. Now, now for the playmaking, Ron Artest wasn't much of a playmaker, but he could make the simple pass and the outlet pass after a rebound or touchdown pass when inbounding. So for your pass accuracy, we're going to take that to a 76 so we can unlock gold break starter. Your ball handle is going to be an 85 so we could get that gold quick first step. And your speed with ball is going to be a 78. And that right there should have you at 20 playmaking badge points. Now for my favorite part of the 
the bill, the defense. Now for your interior defense, you're gonna put that to a 83. Your perimeter defense, we're gonna take that to a 92. Your steal, we're gonna take that to a 90. Your block, we're gonna take that to a 87. Offensive rebound's gonna be a 70. And your defensive rebound's gonna be a 75. And that right there should have you at 27 defensive badge points. And honestly, there's nothing that this build can't do. I mean, yeah, it's a six foot seven build, but it also has a seven four wingspan. And to complement that seven four wingspan, I mean, look at it like this. We got gold clamps. We got gold challenger for perimeter contest. We got gold interceptor. We're gonna be playing in the passing lanes with a seven four wingspan with gold interceptor. We got silver glove. And even though this is a six seven build, remember again, we have a seven four wingspan. So we're gonna be able to switch on to fours and fives because we have silver brick wall we have silver post lockdown and we have silver pogo stick with silver anchor and do remember this bill also gets rim takeover but we're gonna get into these physicals real quick so i can show y'all this badge setup and then we could get into this gameplay so you can see this build in action so for your physicals your speed you're gonna take that to a 82 your acceleration you're gonna take that to a 75 your strength you're gonna take that to a 80 your vertical we're gonna take that to a 70 and your stamina we're gonna take that to a 90 and now it's time to get into these takeovers all right as you can see we get shot creator take we get play take we get lock take and we get rim take i'm not even gonna hesitate we're gonna do perimeter bass drop and paint intimidation now i'm gonna hit the finish button so we can see that final product There you have it, shades of Gerald Wallace, Jimmy Butler, and Jason Tatum. But this build comes out as a hybrid defender. But the attributes and the vitals say that this is a Ron Artest build. Now we're gonna test the build, get into this badge setup so I could get y'all out of here. Now for your finishing badge setup, we got 13 finishing badge points. So tier one, we could do silver acrobat, silver back down punisher. Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Bronze Rise Up, Silver Fearless Finisher, and you can add on your Rebirth Badge Points along with the badges that you got from completing the seasons, and you can put that on Slithery, make that your Core Badge, Core That, and you can take the other six and put that on Limitless Takeoff. Now for the shooting, we got 19 shooting badge points, so we could do Gold Amp, Gold Claymore, Gold Guard Up, Gold Midi Magician, Gold Slithery Off Ball, we could do Silver Catch and Shoot, make Corner Specialist the Core Badge, then we'll get five badge points back from that, and you could put that on Gold Space Creator, but me, I would make this more so of like a 3 and D player, and just play the spot up position, and stick to just playing defense, and on offense, just wait for the ball to find you, now for the playmaking, we got 20 playmaking badge points to work with. So we're gonna do silver break starter, silver needle threader, gold hyperdrive, gold quick first step. Tier three, we're gonna do clamp breaker on silver and we're gonna make unpluckable the core badge. Then when we core unpluckable, we're gonna get seven badge points back from that. And we could put that on handles for days take that last badge point that's left over and put that on gold break starter now for the defense we get 27 defensive badge points so tier one we're gonna do gold ankle braces silver off ball pest silver anchor gold menace we're gonna make challenger the core badge we're gonna put gold clamps on silver glove and when you core challenger you're gonna get seven badge points back and out of those seven badge points that you get back i would take four of those and i will put that on hall of fame workhorse and the other three points that's left over i will put one on hall of fame ankle braces hall of fame menace 
and I will put the last one on gold off ball pest. And if you have that level 40 reward that allows you to core two different badges, I would core interceptor and you're gonna get seven badge points back from interceptor. And I would take five of those points, put it on gold chase down artist and silver pogo stick. And this will most def be the best build in the park, pro-am or the wreck. But that's it for me, old head TV. Be sure to put some pressure on that like, that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what you think of the build and what builds you might want to see on the channel in the future and I'll be sure to get to it. Until next time, peace. And honestly guys, I don't think we'll see a dominant run like the, the Warriors just went on for a while. Stretch is indeed to its limit. There's Che, and Che throws it down. By Che, knocks it loose, and stolen by Che. Anna has possession. Big trail by six, and Che inside. It's tipped, and stolen by Neesmith. There's Che. They're going to count the bucket. And now McConnell, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points in the game. Here's Jay, and Jay throws it. Jay with the block. And Jay. Six to shoot. An easy two points on the layup. Even with every shot flanging off iron, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these threes. It might be time to take a step in. And Jay gets it to go. And they desperately need a bucket. Indiana in the lead. Down low. And the basket by Turner. Off the inbound pass. Jay with the block. Deep heel hits the three-point ball. 